Well, hello there. Welcome to my playthrough of the Bloodborne DLC, The Old Hunters. This will be a blind playthrough. And in case you don't know what that means, that just means that I have never played this DLC before and will be experiencing it for the first time. As for what I already know about the DLC, I had to go out and find out how to access it. I could not figure that out on my own. And I also found out that it was suggested that she be around level 65 in order to uh, play it. And uh, my character here, you can see he is level 65. Uh, let's see, you can see I focused on uh, vitality, strength, and skill. And since I'm uh, a strength and skill build, the uh, weapon that I'm using is this Ludwig's Holy Blade plus 5. Now, I saw that it was recommended that you be plus 10. Uh, I don't have enough twin blood shards to get up to... Um, plus 10 so I'm just gonna have to go with uh, my plus 5 and another thing that I have going against me is that I have actually never used this weapon before I just equipped it just upgraded it and I've only used it for a very short amount of time but I wanted to uh, use a weapon that was good for a strength skill build and this seems to be the one at least the one that I have access to at this time. So that's the one that I'm using right now. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with this uh, DLC. Uh, in case you don't know how to access the DLC, uh, you have to have fought and beaten uh, Vicar Emilia. And after you beat her, you touch the skull that's in that room after you beat her. And then you'll see the cutscene um, with, uh, what is it, Willem and... Um, I don't know, the guy that, whose name starts with L. And uh, after that, you will see this little um, gift from the messengers appear here. And I have not clicked on this yet, so uh, let's click on it now and see what gift they have for us. The eye of a blood-drunk hunter beckons hunters to the hunter's nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside Odin Chapel. Yeah. So if I hadn't... Uh, looked up where I'm supposed to go. I don't know, I might have been able to figure that out. I, I, I think I know where Odin Chapel is. Uh, I, could, I could still be wrong about uh, where I'm supposed to go. Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter is the item we've received. Let's take a look at it. Let's see where this is. Is it in here? Probably not. No, it's probably under these keys. Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter. Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter, its pupil collapsed. The eye of a blood drunk hunter, its pupil is collapsed and turned to mush, indicating the onset of the scourge of beasts. A hunter who goes drunk with blood is said to be taken by the nightmare, destined to wander forever, engaged in an endless hunt. It is a fate that no hunter can escape. Oh my. That's, uh, that's pretty scary right there. So now that we have this thing, we need to get snatched up. Um... And again, this is something that I would not have known to do had I not looked it up. And that's kind of the problem with doing a blind playthrough of a game like Bloodborne. Uh, for example, um, in Bloodborne itself, which I have played and completed, and the playthrough is on my channel if you want to check it out. If you've played Bloodborne, then you know there are a couple of things you have to do in the game that is a little counterintuitive. For example, in order to make it to uh, Hypogean Jail, you need to get uh, caught by a Snatcher. You have to allow yourself to get, well, basically killed and caught by a Snatcher, which is totally counterintuitive because I don't know about you, but when I play a game, I try not to get killed. And then there's another part of the game, uh, is it uh, Old Yarnum? There's a part of the game that you can only get to if you let the Amygdala uh, snatch you up. Again, something else, something that I would not normally do, um, but it is something that you have to do. Uh, let's see, so we go to uh, the Grand Cathedral here, I believe, is where we need to go, and uh, you'll see here that um, what we're going to do is, again, something that's a little counterintuitive and something that I never would have figured out in a if I hadn't looked it up online, so... That is the only part of this playthrough that is not blind. I have looked up how to access the DLC. And we will access that here in just a moment as soon as this loads up. I am Cathedral Ward. In Cathedral Ward, this is not where I wanted to go. Okay, I went to the wrong place. So let's return to Hunter's Dream and I'll go to the correct place. Alright, Cathedral Ward was the wrong place to go. I want to go to... Or no, did I accidentally go to Grand Cathedral? I want to go to Cathedral Ward. Maybe I picked the wrong thing. 
Okay, this is where we want to be. So we come down here, and we go out here. And if you've played the game before, then you know that, that right over here by this fence is an Abangdala that, that's going to snatch us up. Normally there's somebody walking around in here, but there's not right now, and I'm not really sure why. It's pretty weird, actually. But uh, <clears throat> we're going to walk over here. Uh-oh. There we go. See that? Now, see, normally I would run away from such a thing. And uh, in the game itself, I did get picked up by that, and all it did was do a lot of damage to me. But this is what you need to do to get to the DLC. So we come over here. We wait for the Amygdala to pick us up. There we go. You see his arm there. You can see his body a little bit. We get frenzied. And here we go. Curse the fiends, their children too. Their children forever true. Okay, who's this speaking? And their children forever true. Okay. I'm sure this is going to make as much sense as the uh, original game did. Hunter's Nightmare. <laughs> Gosh. Uh... So, uh, as I mentioned before, I have uh, finished the uh, the Bloodborne game itself. I did that a couple months ago, so it's been a while since I played this. Uh, this character here was one that I was playing with before, and over the past couple of nights, uh, I've gotten him up to level 65. But I really just played um, the same part of the game over and over again, uh, starting at the Witch's Abode uh, lamp and running down the hill from there and killing all the things there to, just to get a bunch of uh, blood echoes so I could level up. So I may be a bit, ru be a bit rusty. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and light this lamp. Okay, that's kind of reassuring. Now we know that we could just return to Hunter's Dream whenever we want to, so long as we come back to this lamp. And, um, am I crazy or is this, this is the exact same as Cathedral Ward, right? Except that at Cathedral Ward, this is a passageway that would take you down to, uh, what is it, uh, Tomb of Odin. Um, we've got some specters here. I'm playing online. And uh, I'm not sure what's killed these people, but it's making me nervous. This guy's just standing here. Or was it, did he just, no, oh, and then all of a sudden he died, so I don't know what killed him. In um, Cathedral Ward... There's a little dude that sits here. He's not here in this nightmare. But I'm just, uh, you know, doing the thing you do in a Souls game. You break pottery. Because, you know, sometimes there's items behind them. Sometimes, not always. And, uh... It's looking like maybe not. There's not anything behind these, but, uh... Don't you worry, I'm gonna break every single one of these, so... For those of you who have tuned in just to see somebody roll through a bunch of pottery, you've found the right the right let's play. Let's see, down here we've got a note. Remember pale blood, it says. Okay, well, um thank you. I I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind, you know. Um I don't really know what good that does me. Here's a door. Open door. Um here we have a passageway. Ugh. Time for hunting. Oh my gosh, what is going on out here? It's almost like it's daylight. Look at this. It's like daytime. Is this the morning after the hunt? Notes. Nothing but treasures here. Wondrous treasure. Okay, I don't really know what this guy's trying to tell me. He had a gesture there. What the heck is he doing? I don't know what the heck he's trying to do. This is a statue. Okay, it's not a person. Oh, here we go. What do we got? First item of the DLC. Frenzied Cold Blood. Thank you very much. As you can see, I have 74 Blood Echoes. I spent all my Blood Echoes. Holy cow, look at that up there. Is that the sun? I'm not sure. It looks like the sun. Here's a little bench. 
If you've watched any of my Let's Plays before, you know that I tend to be as thorough as I possibly can. I like to explore everything there is to explore. Search body. Twin Bloodstone Shards. Thank you. I could use a lot more of those if you don't mind. Ugh. Message here. Reeks of raiding. Okay. Oh, you kind of see down in there. Look at that. Look at that. How's that make you feel? What do you think about that? Any thoughts on that? Any feelings? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. There's a hunter and he sees me. Okay, well, we're off to a fine start. Oh, okay. He must have killed someone or someone fell to their own death because I just got some blood echoes. Okay, there he is up there. What's up, dude? Are you going to come down here and fight me? He looks kind of scary. I think he does anyway. Oh, I see there's an item on a body right here just below him. See that there? Right by my sword. Uh, you know, I mean, we could go ahead and try to take this guy on. It's no big deal if we croak. You know, I mean, um, we've only got 610 blood echoes on the line here. So I'm not too concerned. Whoa! Okay. Okay, he's got some kind of whip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I don't want to go there. Is he going to come down this hill and fight me, or is he going to hang up, hang out up there? Oh my, that hurt. Okay, alright. This guy, um... He may just come down the hill here. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. What the... Okay. Ouch. Okay. Alright. Um... I was gonna try to uh, visceral him with a shot, but uh... Didn't seem to work. Okay, maybe we can't. Oh gosh, I do not like that at all. I do not care for that, sir! Stop it! Stop it, you bastard! Ouch. Ouch. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. That's what, that's what uh, blood vials are for. Come here, you, you bastard. Yeah, shoot at me again. Come on, shoot at me again, jerk. Oh, oh, through the wall. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's try this. Let's try this. Ouch. Son of a... Ouch, I missed him. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Try it again, bastard. Oh, am I gonna swing or not? Yeah! Okay. Got him. What do we get? Two blood vials. <laughs> I used a lot more than two blood vials trying to kill that guy. <laughs> two blood vials? Really? That's all I get? And I really didn't get that many blood echoes for that. Jeez. That was a lot of work. What the mother? What the... What? He's not a hunter? He's just a guy? What? Oh. Oh, come on. Oh. You son of a... Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, he got me. All right, now I'm... Ah, oh, man. Okay, so either that guy respawns or he's just a regular old enemy that I have to deal with. Um, I felt very sluggish there. Like, I couldn't dodge around his, uh, chain whip. Holy crap. Well, this is, uh, this is fantastic. I was all happy that I beat him there. Let's see, can we go through this door? Probably not. Does not open from this side. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to, uh, figure out how to fight this mofo. Let's see, is he back up here? Does he come back? There he is. Nope, nope, those are different guys. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's see if he fights these guys. Okay, so that's how I got those uh, blood echoes before he did that for us. 
What's down here? Stop it. Oh man, he is angry, this guy. Screw you! Screw you! Oh, he fell off, okay. Jerk. Shoot at me. Jerk. Alright. What's this say? Oh, that's a specter, okay. Where you going, dude? What's going on? Where'd you go? What's up, man? Oh, he... Now, I don't know if that's him or the other one that we saw earlier. I kind of want this item, though. Old Hunter Gloves. Are those worth a damn? Let's see. Old Hunter Gloves. Oh, I forgot that this game does not pause when you look at your items. <laughs> no, it does not pause. Alright, we need to be a little careful here. Okay, is, there, is he the same one, or is there another one of him running around? Oh, son of a crap. Now I've got two of them. Great. That's just freaking great. Alright, I want to go in here and look at these old hunter gloves and see if they're worth anything. I'm, hopefully he won't follow me all the way here to this lamp. And if he does, well, I'll die then. Old hunter gloves. Right now I'm wearing the surgical long gloves. Old hunter gloves... Um, well, they seem to do a better physical defense, but worse uh, poison. And I'm going to switch to the old hunter gloves for the better physical defense. I'll do that. I'm, I, you know, I mean, I'm just starting. If I come across poison, well, then maybe I'll switch back to those surgical gloves. Okay, here comes this guy. This is a, this is a different one, I think. Yeah, you son of a. Oh, he hits me anyway. Oh. Come on. I got him. <laughs> that was risky and probably stupid. What's he got? Oh, yay, blood vials. Okay. That was, uh, I was just... Man, I wish I had more stamina now, you know? I wish my stamina bar was longer. Because that's that's all you do. When I hit him, he staggers. So, um, that's all I want to do is just continually hit him. Oh, that was a nice move. Oh, that was an interesting move there as well, sir. Screw you! I hope I'm out of stamina. There, die, mofo. Boy! Files. Okay, so he's not that bad, really. You just wail on him. That's my, that's my advice. Wail on him. What's this guy have to say? Item waits ahead. Yeah, he's probably talking about that item that I just picked up down there. The old hunter's gloves. Okay, don't want to go down there. Let's see. Oh, we got a duel going on down there, as you can see. Can I go up here? No? No, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, I am nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm very, very nervous. So we could go up to that gate there, or we could go up around this way. There's an item here. I'm waiting for something to come out and ambush me is what I'm waiting for. Oh, here's some more notes. Blood Echoes waits ahead, okay. Blood Vials, okay, those are not Blood Echoes. Okay, so we got two of those dudes down there. Those look like the dudes I've always referred to as Grovers. Because I think they look like Grover from Sesame Street. Saw those guys down in uh, Old Yarnum. Oh, I see three of them. Four of them. Oh, there's another guy standing over there. Do you, are you seeing all of this? See this? We got four Grovers standing there. And then there's another guy standing right over top of my head. See him right over my head there? We got him to deal with. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Um, hmm. Okay, that does not look like a fun place to be. Is this guy dead? Is this a dead Grover body? Okay, it looks like it. I don't know what these things are. But I'm gonna wail on it. Here's another dead Grover body. Oh, we got a path here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, two of them! No, I don't want to fight, fight two of you at the same time! Okay, come here, you bastard. Come here. Not too far away. I thought he would have uh, come at me. Let's see, can I get him? Nope. Ouch. Ouch. Screw you. And the horse you rode in on. Okay. 
All right, I'll, I'll get in the swing of things here. I... Ooh, okay, didn't drop anything for us. View notes, beware of hound. What was that? Oh, I know what it was. Okay, so he takes three swings. Three swings, three hits. Three hits and he's down. Okay, I can, I can deal with that. Oh, no, no, oh, no, I don't want to be down here. Oh, crap, I'm down here. Well, there's an item here at least. Oh, yes. Holy cow, three twin bloodstone shards. Okay, I need to get back to Hunter's Dream. All right, what's my game plan here? Oh, no. Oh, no, there's another one down there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, look how many. Oh, my gosh. There's another one of those Hunter dudes. Another... One or two more Grovers there. There's a Grover right there. Look at him. He's got his hands up like he doesn't like the light. This is very interesting that this is daylight since the other game took place so much in the nighttime. I'm going to run down here and just go to the left and uh, try to survive this. Let's pick up some Madman's Knowledge. Let's go around the corner here. Oh, hi, guys. What's up? What's up? Huh. Whoa. Why are they... Oh, look at them. They're, like, afraid of me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I say, oh, crap, because I didn't do as much damage to him as I would have on one hit. Okay, we'll take him out. No, we didn't take him out. Almost, though. Okay, well, these guys aren't that bad. So they don't like the daylight. What's going... Oh, look, he's fighting those things, too. Look. Interesting. Okay, this thing has good range. I'm liking this weapon right off. However, now I'm a little worried. How the hell do I get out of here? Blood vial. How do I... Okay, there's a little bit of a ramp here. So I'm going to let him fight those and take those out for me. Not that they're tough. Uh, he must not have killed any yet, though, because I haven't noticed that I've gotten any blood echoes. 